If you're looking for a great place to buy your toys, Co-Kiss has a great range of figures, including your favorite ones from Haya toys like Godzilla, King Ghidorah, the female Muto. Get 6% off in all your purchases with my discount code. Use Ruby Co-Kiss to get all your favorite figures much cheaper than anywhere else with fast shipping. Link in the description down below. This also means you don't have to wait for those long releases from the US. You can get everything much faster and exactly the same time that Haya Toys releases their figures from their end. So what are you waiting for? Use the link in the description, apply the code to get everything much cheaper. It's highly recommended. Thank you for watching the video. Hello everybody, we have a new figure from Haya Toys. It's King Ghidorah Gravity Beam version. So this is a more metallic paint job that you see throughout his body. And you do see that he looks more golden. He looks like he is more of that special color version that we are used to seeing with the traditional classic Ghidorah. So it's more of a classic type of paint job. For people out there that don't like the more realistic paint job, this is a more classic paint job that most of us grew up watching Ghidorah with. So it looks really nice. The necks are done different, almost simulating Ghidorah pairing up with his gravity beam attack now for the information and price point okay first of all it's going to be releasing on 2024 q2 and the price point is for 110 usd so price that with the shipping you know the deal unlike the previous version this one actually does come with a few accessories and that is that you get three additional gravity beams to recreate the iconic battle poses that you saw in the movie recreating those scenes with him powering up his attacks you get the idea now let's move on to my personal opinion and what i think about this figure so first of all i would have thought they would readjust the head sculptures just a little bit more and by that i don't mean that they look bad but there's issues we know that the mouth sections can be very fragile and they don't seem to be all that great still so no modifications and any improvements to the mount section or the necks now the other thing that i'm taking away from this figure is it appears that there is no modification to those wings you know the idea is cool but on paper in person they don't actually work from reviews and other people experience uh, they've told me that this doesn't really look that great in person, that it looks really awkward. And again, the idea overall was cool, but the execution of this was a failure. And I think they could have done a little bit better. Uh, the paint job looks fantastic. Don't get me wrong. It's a fantastic, accurate figure. But when it comes to the visual, you know, aesthetics of it, it's great. But other than the articulation, things that haven't been upgraded when they've been updating Godzilla, you know, it's questionable why they chose not to upgrade this figure. I think they could have gave the mouth section a rework. The necks could have been a little bit better. The wings could have been a lot better as well. Um, there's no information if they adjusted the wings so they don't become so loose. If they adjusted the figure so it's not too overweight in some poses because we do know that when posing this figure it tends to fall off now everything is not not too negative on the bright side of things it's great to see a classic paint job applied to this modern Ghidorah it looks great I think the golden paint job looks really fantastic and if you're somebody that missed out on the original because it's too overpriced or it's out of stock this is a great opportunity for you Go pre-order it from Kokis. It comes with additional, you know, stands, three gravity beams. The paint job is more on line with the classic version of the Ghidorah monster that we all know and love. So that's a plus. And honestly, it just looks really nice. You know, it has the same insane details that we've seen previously. So yeah, if you're somebody that just didn't feel the realistic paint job and you want something that looks more classic, the eyes also seem to be adjusted just a little bit so yeah overall this is a great you know special version of Ghidorah with the gravity beans and all of that it looks really great i hope that haya toys continues to you know offer more figures like this one more thing before i leave on this channel i want to make it clear that we are not going to be touching on sensitive topics like leaks anymore toys figures from movies and all of that 
I think it's very disrespectful. I've always been very clear with my audience that I don't show any spoilers. I don't tend to do that because it's disrespectful. Just imagine how people that work so hard on certain things only for them to be leaked out to the public and people just benefit from so many likes, from views. I get it, but it's not worth it. Trust me, it's not worth it to have your channel, have your page taken down just for a few clicks, you know, a few views, a few likes. It's not worth it. Honestly, be ethical about this. Be professional. Be responsible to your fans. Be responsible for yourself. I know I've been getting tagged. I know I've been getting sent a lot of messages on that figure that's been leaked and I will not be covering that. I know it's out there. I've seen it, but I won't be touching on that anymore. And I rather have my channel preserved than, you know, have a few views as I mentioned. I don't think it's very professional of one to go out there and leak out information that a lot of people like directors from the movie, people that work on visual effects, People that work in general and all those things to have their work leak out. Now that is it for the video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to pre-order from Coke His. Thank you. I'll catch you guys in the next video.